Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and I'm happy to announce an update to the script Stars Back, making it more versatile than the original version. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's jump on in and learn how to download and use the new version of Stars Back. Stars Back is a script that I designed in order to help adding your stars back into your image extremely easy without having to worry about renaming your images to make them match. And since I created it, I have updated it and we're gonna go over that in just a moment. But first, if you haven't used my scripts yet, how do you get this? Well, first of all, if you already have my scripts, um, you will receive the update and that'll be done when you load up PixInsight next. You should get a window in the top left that just notifies you that there's updates available. When you get that, simply click on that update and you'll get a window in the center of your screen that uh, has all of the available repository updates. All you need to do is click Select All, click OK, and then exit out of PixInsight. And that'll prompt PixInsight to update. If for some reason you have my repository and you don't get that update window, all you need to do is go to resources, go to updates and check for updates. That'll prompt PixInsight to check for any available repository updates. And what'll happen is you'll then get that window in the center that has all of the available repository updates where you'll click select all, okay, and then exit out of PixInsight. Now, if you don't have my repository, I'll have my repository link in the description of this video here. Um, my repository link is a package that contains all of my scripts. So one download of the repository will get you every script that I have. Another way that you can get my repository link is head over to my website, hiddenlight-photography.com. What you're gonna do is go to PixInsight Scripts and you'll see my repository link along with instructions on how to download it. The easiest way is to click on the link. That'll open up a new tab. Click in the URL bar so the entire URL is highlighted. We'll go ahead and copy the repository link. Go back into PixInsight. Go to Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories, and that'll bring up the Manage Update Repositories window. From there, click Add, and then paste the repository link into the Add PixInsight repository window. Once you have that done, click OK. Now, I already have this downloaded, so I'm not gonna do it again, but once you click OK, you'll see my repository link in the Manage Update Repositories window. Once you have that in the uh, Manage Update Repositories window, click OK, and then you're gonna go to Resources, updates and check for updates. This will prompt PixInsight to check for any repository updates. Now, I don't have any updates available, so I'm gonna get this window here. But what you'll see is a window that pops up that has all of the available repository updates. Click select all, okay, and then uh, exit out of PixInsight. Now, you may or may not get a window that pops up in the center of your screen that asks if you want to allow the application to make changes to your device. If you get that, just click yes, and that will allow PixInsight to update. Now, once PixInsight is done updating, uh, it should automatically restart. If it doesn't, just go ahead and reopen PixInsight. Once you open PixInsight, you'll go to script and you'll see HLP and have all of my scripts, one of them being Stars Back. Now, Stars Back functions just the way that it used to. The only difference is, is that now I have the ability to choose whether or not your Stars image is a Stars only image or unscreen Stars. And this stems from when you go to process all processes and you come down to Star Exterminator, 
you have the ability to generate a star image or unscreen the stars. Now, if you're using, um, you know, another method of removing the stars, you want to pay attention to if you're using a stars only image or unscreened stars, because once it comes time to put them back, then um, you can choose whether or not your stars image was unscreened or just a stars only image. Um, in this case, I have IC1805 here and I have my stars. Both of these are done and ready to be recombined. My stars image is an unscreened stars image. So I'm going to choose unscreened stars. For DSO, I'm going to choose my IC1805 here, which is image 68 underscore clone underscore star console, which is going to be right here. And then my NB to RGB underscore stars is going to be my stars image. So all I'm going to do is just put both of them in here, DSO image and stars image and click execute. The script is gonna go ahead and handle the naming of the images, apply the correct pixel math formula. In this case, we can see it right here in the console, and it's going to put my unscreened stars back into my image, and we are done. So I hope you find this script useful, and if you do and wanna help support the channel, check out that join button and consider joining a Hidden Light Photography membership. There's lots of perks in it for you and your support helps me bring you more tools and content. Another way you can help support the channel is checking out my High Point Scientific Affiliate link in the description of this video here if you're in the market for some new gear. Also, do me a favor. That channel icon that popped up? Hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Drop a comment in the comment section. How do you normally put your stars back in your image? Would you find this script useful? And then, check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.